when you find a, a rational root, um, what you're doing is finding the number times itself that gives you, well, in this case, 4. So this is almost like a question where we ask, what is the square root of 4? What number times itself gives you 4? That's 2. Square root of 9 is 3. Well, what about the square root of something like 5, or 6, or 7, or 8, or 9? Notice, the square root of 5, since it's between 4 and 9, it has to also be between 2 and 3. <clears throat> and that's often what you're asked. They would say, between, in other words, like on a number line, between, which two whole numbers is the square root of 5. So you could write it's between 2 and 3. We don't know what it is exactly, it's a decimal, but we know it's between 2 and 3. They might go a little bit further and ask you, well is it closer to 2 or closer to, closer to 3? Because 5 is so close to 4, it's reasonable to assume that it's closer to 2. It's closer to 2. So, we can look at square roots in this way. For example, let's say the square root of 16. That's 4. Well, what about something like the square root of 14? Well, we don't know where it is exactly. But it's got to be between 3 and 4, because the square root of 9 is lower than 14, the square root of 16 is above 14. So that whatever this root is, it's got to be between these two numbers. So you could say the square root of 14 is between 3 and 4. If they ask you, well, is it closer to 4 or 3, you could say it's closer to 4. Why? Well, 14 is closer to 16 than it is to 9. This is the basic idea.